Good morning to all our viewers uh, from a very hot and uh, humid Juma Game Reserve. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Marnes and behind the camera we've got Dave. Um, we are pretty thrilled to be here. I am exactly, or uh, well, very thrilled. I mean, we are, I'm going for my interview drive, so um, I hope you guys enjoy it with me. The plan for this morning is I'd like to go and look at Karula again, so uh, I might need your help, the viewers in the back there. Um, I'm not too familiar with the specific leopards and all the animals here, so it'll be great if you guys can uh, get involved, help me. So um, I think we can get going. I believe uh, Byron has uh, heard some leopard calling, which is um, pretty cool. Um, I hope he's going to get some luck that side. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Now with Karula, for example, the leopards, um, you know, she was yesterday and the day before, she was on a uh, Impala kill with her cubs or young juveniles, that side. Um, I don't know how much is going to be left of this. We want to go and have a, a look and see. And a lot of things can happen during the evening. Uh, hyenas can uh, come and try and take the kill away. Um, lions could have pitched up, which would be quite interesting. Uh, hopefully not. And um, yeah, anything can happen. So we're looking forward to go and have a check there and see. And uh, just remember that if you've got any questions for me, on my interview drive and be gentle please um, if you do have any questions please feel free to uh, send some on uh, Twitter to and make sure that you use the hashtag Safari live now as I've mentioned uh, interview drives beginnings trying out new things can be quite tricky so um, um, it's quite uh, you can almost say the following imagine you go for an interview with one boss now, or maybe a board, and this is uh, for me similar, but just with a couple of thousand people looking. So it could be quite intimidating at times, but I'm sure it will go well today. Um, and as we approach or move towards Gorilla side, I, uh, Liz, how's it? Uh, I am from South Africa. I was uh, born and raised in this specific area. I've been uh, guiding um, in Southern Africa or South Africa for uh, quite a long time. I used to be based in further reserves in the south. Um, and yes, it's been, uh, it's been great living in the bush. I uh, do thoroughly enjoy it. Except like uh, Byron was mentioning earlier, it does get a little bit hot and humid. And last night uh, was particularly quite humid. Um, and especially you see the clouds coming across all around us. Um, that normally can keep all the heat of the previous day inside and bring out all the nasty insects. Hello Lucy from Indiana. Uh, how do I spell my name if that's correct? My name is spelled M-A-R-N-U-S Marnes. It's uh, not a very common South African name, to be very honest with you. But uh, my dad's from Holland, and you know the Dutch can sometimes, you know, just put a spin on a few things, I suppose. <laughs> also quite interesting to, to just keep in mind, I don't know the roads that well in this area, or I don't really know them at all. So I'm going to be relying on Dave to give me a shout and help me around, uh, just to see how we get going around here. As you see, also, it's going quite thick in the bushes here, and I'm hoping we can get through this little, it seems like drainage line coming uh, in front of us, and then once we get through the drainage line, we're hopefully going to be up in the crest side. Now, yesterday was quite interesting, as, as far as I know, um, because I believe Tristan had uh, Karula in a kind of interesting mood as far as uh, he told us uh, after the evening drive. Um, so when leopards, especially females with two youngsters of that age, you know, that can be quite tricky and moody. Um, so we're going to hopefully find her. That's the first goal. And once we've found her, we want to see first what mood she's in. All right. But um, yes, I'm not sure if Byron has got something. Um, so, um, I'm hoping he's got a, a nice leopard for us as well shortly. 